making sure that I get everything done that I need to get done today. I'm also making sure that whatever I need to do tomorrow, if it's something that I can knock off the list today without putting too much stress on it, I will do that. Um, today is going to be a vlog video. I don't really have too much to get done today besides recording. I'm going to send out a newsletter. So if you're not subscribed to my mailing list at badchickhair.com or keepingitwithbrittany.com, please do so. Um, also, I need to work on my Amazon affiliate store a little bit. Reply back to a couple of emails in regards to sponsored offers. And then I'm going to go out with the kids, um, probably the skateboard park. And I don't know what else we're going to do, but I'm going to get go ahead and get my work done earlier today. I do want to get my nails done too, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to, so we'll just kind of play it by ear and see what happens, and I will pick you all up along the way. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed, and let's get right into the video. Well, let's continue into the video. I'll be right back with you all in the next clip. All right, so I just got out of the shower, and I'm just putting my hair like in this bun type of thing. I need my clip downstairs. Um, don't really know if I want the bun or if I just want to hang it down like I always have it because it's not really working out how I want it to work out, but I wanted something a little different. There's one that's coming untwisted. I'm going to do some laundry and then I think I'm going to just head out and get my nails done before the boys get home from school. That's what I'm thinking. So I will keep you all updated. I'll probably pick up the camera once I get in the car. I'm trying to see if I see any more that are unraveling that bad. There was another one. And they unravel up to the point where I um, started interlocking. Do I see another one? Hmm. So now this one isn't going to look right. Hang it down because I guess I like bend it up some. It's too long now. That will work for now. I don't know if I'm going to put any eyeliner on or not, but I'm going to go ahead and head out. I'll pick you all back up when I get in the car. Okay, so I am going back to Walmart nail salon. If you've been following my vlogs, you know that's the salon I've been going to most frequently. Um, it's just really convenient. I'm not going to say I'm in love with the particular salon I go to, but I mean, I don't hate going there. Um, last time I wasn't as satisfied as I was the first time going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for the first nail tech to do my nails. And if he's booked up and too busy, then I probably won't get my nails done there i'll probably find someplace else but i'm on a um race against time because the kids get out of school like in two and a half hours and um sometimes it takes a long time to get your nails done just depending on who's doing it um the guy that did it the first time he did it really really good and he didn't take too long at all so hopefully i can get him to do it Let's cross our fingers and see what happens. And I will pick you all back up once I make it to Walmart or wherever I'm getting my nails done today.
All right, so I'm leaving the nail shop and I am not very satisfied with my nails again, but they're okay. They're okay. I did have the man do them. He did them a lot better than the previous round, previous set. However, I wanted my I wanted the fridge to look different. Like I wanted it skinny and to kind of go up on the sides, if you know what I'm talking about, that kind of French. I didn't want the traditional French. And that's what I got. So I like the color. But if I knew it was gonna be like a traditional French, I would have just got traditional French. I wouldn't have got pink. Um stop the Arby's. Oh not Arby's. Excuse me, Culver's. I already ate my sandwich. I'm eating my fries now, and I'm about to eat the flavor of the day. Which is like toffee or toffee or something like that. And I'm also about to go to the grocery store and get some groceries before the boys get off. I have like 45 minutes to go grocery shopping before they get home and I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm thinking for dinner, I'll probably do nachos. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know what you all think I should do or what you all are doing for dinner. I know I'll, I'll see the comments after the video is posted, but it still gives me some ideas because sometimes you just run out, run out of ideas of what to cook for dinner. And I used to go to the website allrecipes.com, but I felt like I, I, I did a lot of recipes on there too. And I kind of just got burnt out. So, mm, if I have time, I'll get my car washed too. Car looks really good coming out of the car wash. Um, but I was able to get in and out. Like I said, I still have time to spare. It's very convenient. You don't really have to make an appointment to go get your nails done at the Walmart salon that I go to. Um, they do a decent job. I only complaint I have right now is the fact that I wanted a different French than what I actually got, but it's not, it's not like the end of the world or anything like that. I'm still okay with it. Um, when I get home, I do need to do some editing. I do need to, I forgot if I finished my, because I need to do some rearranging on my Amazon store too. And I talked about how important that is, especially if you are an Amazon affiliate and you're baking on getting commission each month. You want to make sure that those things are updated and working as they should so that you get everything you need to get. Um, or everything that you can get as far as commission. And also any links that people click on from your video, you're actually directing them to the product that you're advertising or you know to some product instead of just directing them to a product that says unavailable i talked more about that in the video that i titled um how to make more money with your amazon affiliate account or something like that so you can check out my business playlist right here on this channel and you can watch that video but i'm going to go ahead and finish my fries you all know how i feel about eating on camera i mean i will but it's not my favorite thing to do I'm going to go, go ahead and finish my fries, my ice cream. I'm going to go into the store and get some um, groceries for the house. Buy something for dinner tonight, which I'm thinking I'm going to do nachos. And I'll pick you all back up probably once I get in.
I just now left the grocery store. Um, I'm about to head over and get my two oldest boys from school. And then I'm going to see if I can squeeze in a car wash before I get my youngest son from school. I don't know. Um, wish me luck. My car really needs to get washed. And it's like now that it's starting to be nice outside, that's one of my pet peeves to ride around with like dust on my car. Um, it used to really didn't bother me, but it, it does now. Like it really does bother me. Um, we have this new car wash here where you automatically get to vacuum out your car for free. Um, I don't know if that's a thing that a lot of car washes are doing or not, but I've only been to a few different car washes here. Like once I find one that I really like, I kind of stick to that one. So um, that's what I normally do. I stick to the one that I liked. But I was going to a touchless car wash and I have a little bit of like chipping on, I think it's this side, on like the left side of my car in the back. And so the touchless wash, I don't know if it's because the water is at a higher pressure, it was taking off more of my paint. Like every time I would go, every time I would go to, um, get my car washed, I would notice some paint was gone. I would notice some paint was gone off of my car. So I decided to not use that one anymore um, and find another one. And the other one that I was using was okay. It wasn't the best. But now that they have created a new wash, it's like my favorite. And then with this wash, they're going to be um, offering detailing services. So you can get your car washed in detail like in the same run instead of having to like book an appointment in advance. So I think it's going to be really good. I know I can't wait to get my car detailed. I haven't had my car detailed. I think I may have gotten it detailed one time since I've had it. And I've had this, this car for a very long time. I do want another car. I just don't want to know for the car. So I'm literally trying to ride this one until the wheels fall off because I don't want to have to pay on another car. Both cars that I have, I also have a, a Milan that's at my grand, grandma's house just parked because it needs some work done to it. But on the outside, it looks good. It just, I forgot what was wrong with it because I haven't driven it in a long time. But my dad works a little bit on cars and he was driving around town and he said there's really nothing wrong with it besides the fact that I need a new battery. So I'm thinking either I'm going to sell the car or get a new battery and give it to my son to and drive in for his first few years of being acquainted to driving. Um, and then get him another car because I'm sure he, he probably wants to be able to save up for another car or drive another car that is more so his style the blue on the other car i don't think he'll really like it like that and i did ask him how he felt about it he's like i'll drive it it doesn't matter but i don't know if he'll feel different once he actually gets in school with his other friends or not but that's what those are just some things that i'm thinking i'm rambling right now so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and stop the video oh you hear my brakes stop the video right now uh, my son's walking to the car and I'll probably pick you all up either once I get to the car wash or once I get home. What? <laughs> Gotta check what? Oh gosh. Okay, I'll pick the vlog back up in just a minute.
Thank you.